Well, that's a big question. That's almost a historical sweep.、Um, and maybe I should start by saying David and I first met when I was at the palace in 1998, and David had just been appointed editor of the Sun. So I guess our perspective collectively goes back to that period. And I guess I'd say a couple of things up front. My appointment. Was a first. The palace had traditionally had people in communications, populations roles, who'd either come from the civil service or the foreign office, and so post ninety seven, post the death of the Princess of Wales, thinking about the future of the institution, a decision was made to bring in an outsider, of, initially on secondment. So that was the context, and it was really trying to think about how to better explain the role and purpose of the monarchy and the royal family to the British people and more widely. Canada, the U.S., the Commonwealth, and at that time, the Sun, David, was the biggest-selling newspaper in the U.K. David had just become editor, so our relationship, I think, in a way, characterised how the relationship between the press and the palace was then. But also, we've both seen how it's changed subsequently, and it has changed absolutely dramatically. But at that time. My sense was my principal role coming into that job was to try and get close to senior people like David and others to understand what was in their minds about the palace, the royal family, the monarchy, and try and, you know, in a sense, develop a new relationship. I think, as ever, Simon's being very modest because when he was appointed, it it was a big moment for the palace because you asked, you know, Doug, about you know the history of over the decades of how the palace have handled. Um, their public relations and and and、uh, their, their, their media relations. His appointment caught my imagination、uh, in the first few months of my time as editor of the Sun because I it was clear to me immediately that that this was new that the palace had gone out into the market and they'd found a professional communications director to come in and try and professionalise what what they were doing. I mean, just to take a sort of helicopter view, the 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 reality is that you know. Over the decades, and the Crown television series would, would would illustrate this. The British royal family have got more and more famous, and more and more interesting to millions, billions of people. It is the biggest PR job in the world, if we're honest. It really is, and it's impossible. It's impossible.、Uh, you know that things will go wrong,、um, of course, and we can see them <laughs> playing out at the moment. 